So I was walking, I was working recently with a customer who wanted to loop through their OneDrive files. So for example, if I go into my files on OneDrive and I go into workshop data, and let's say I wanted to loop through the files here and kind of bring them into ClickSense. Um, the customer was saying that unfortunately in our help page, you would see that there is no ability to loop through files, meaning you can use the wildcard in the actual syntax. So one way to get through that is, I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to create an actual application where I loop through these files here, and you're going to see how easy that is to do. So coming into the application, go to script editor, and you're going to see me do this. Uh, so first things first, very straightforward. You should first of all create a connection and you can see that there's a OneDrive metadata connector. Once you've set that up, I already set mine up, right? Super straightforward, you authenticate, you're good. Once that's set up, now you should have in your list of connectors, you have both my sales connector and my OneDrive connector right there. So I'm gonna create a new section and call this loop through. So first things first, there's this website, uh, a community. Someone has actually done most of the work for us. So we're going to be taking advantage of the hard work our colleagues have done and use that here. So I'm going to copy this entire code, paste it right here. First, the lib connect file. I need to change this because this is his OneDrive. I'm going to make it mine. So the way you do that, super straightforward. So now that's my lib connection. Everything else I like, but I need a driver. I need a driver ID and the path here should be in my path. Once that's done, most of it is almost there. Okay. So for the drive ID, pretty straightforward. What I do is if I go into my OneDrive, open this on the drives, right? If I hit preview data, I get to see my drive. I right click that and copy that drive ID. That's what I need. So this is my account uh, related to me. I'm going to paste that right in here. First things first. Now, secondly, make sure there are no spaces. Folder ID, right? Because like I mentioned, I would like to get to this folder location, workshop and iterate files. I could either for this folder ID, go back in here. And now that I know the driver ID, go on the items, paste the driver ID there and preview data. And it's going to give me all the list of all the folders. And I could go in and find a folder and then copy that or this option lets me also after writing the drive id i can just write the folder path and you see there's an example of how this can be done in my case it looks like this it's going to be um, workshop data and then iterate files so this is the this is the folder location i need to get to workshop data iterate files let's see this do this so for it's uh, workshop data and then iterate files. And I, I did find that it's not really case sensitive. So my in my OneDrive, the I is capitalized. Here, you see it's not really, it doesn't really care that it's capitalized or not. So that's a good thing. So once that's done, I like what I see. I'm gonna hit select that, and this is gonna write the code for me. So I'm gonna insert, and now that's my script. What I would like to do is here, paste this new, you know, code right up there. But what I'm doing actually here, what this has done is this has actually created the exact items I need. But what I all I need is just this path file. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste this right here. So far so good. Again, I don't really need this entire code because I'm doing the exact same thing at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel X out of that. So now I have the workshop and not all of that. The last thing is I need to change this from statement and I'm gonna make that super quick. So I need to make this something that's more relevant to the Excel workbooks because that's what these files are, right? I'm gonna bring those right in. I'm gonna go the way to do that. I bring just one sample copy of 
the files, workshop data. Oh, error files. We're just going to bring one of these files right in here and then paste it here. And in fact, that's it there. It's a script. So I just want this libs, this lib statement. I'm going to create a new let v file string equal right because I want this to be this value right and this is what I'm going to add in my statement at the end in this and then I'm just going to append this v file to the end of my statement right there pretty straightforward because I'll be expanding I'll be doing uh, expand here I don't need to do another expansion here so this entire value your path file is not represented in this v file string so now what I've done right and then the other thing is we see that this is referring to a particular table and this logic also should be replaced right here so now all I need all is good you notice all is good rather than call it sales files I want the table names to come with whatever table tables have been brought in one thing you would see is once I run this code this there's gonna be a lot of synthetic keys and that's fine and I'll explain why that's because of this file name here so now this is doing is looping through that event that folder, bringing in all the files. And like I said, the synthetic key is going to come through, but that's fine. I'll explain why that is. So if I open up the data model viewer, what you'd see is all the tables brought in from this <clears throat> subfolder are going to have a field name called file name, right? File name is now a field name in all of them. And that's as expected because we saw that right in our code again it's what I expected so if I just comment this out all should work now so now I'm about to now loop through and bring in every table from my iterate files subfolder in my OneDrive folder location and good to go no more synthetic keys this looks good. Everything is related because click is associative engine is super smart. And that's it. Six tables, three, four, five, six from here. All right.